All right. You know, let's let's I mean, let's get straight to it. Um, you know, when I first saw this, I didn't know what was going on. I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I uh I mean like I did not get this at all. I actually haven't really seen it. I think this is actually the most I've ever seen. I heard about it. But to see this is just like, I'm good now. I don't want to see no more of this stuff. To see this is like, wow. No oh, man, you know what's crazy? I get wild things, so I can't even like not guys like, oh man, you're not gonna have like, you know what I'm saying? I get wild too, man. So I just hope he's good, man. I hope everybody's great. Um, you know, that's a lot. Um, you, you gotta like. He's, he's so like he's he's lit already. He's doing his thing. He's had two brands. Like you just gotta keep the emotion going. You really can't be out here like that. You know what I'm saying? It's hey man, but I you know I get into wild fights too. That's why I really can't knock him. It's like yeah, I get wild too, guys. So I'm not even gonna <laughs> knock him that much. Um, yeah, but. Moving forward, man. You know what I'm saying? Get well, man. I hope you guys get straight, man. He's definitely, he's still Harlem for sure. He's done so much. Like, I'm surprised they actually are really on that one, but you know how it is. can always get well. Uh, moving forward, though, man, you know, some of the new stuff that I posted on the blog, guys, is is really dope. Um, some of these are some of the brands I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do a new, I'm going to do a new section that's going to be called Brands to Watch which is going to be like small or brands that I've just kind of been watching for quite some time. And I'm going to do like a deep dive, right? Some of them might be like smaller brands. Most of them are, um, you know, but I'm definitely going to start doing more of that. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody, Stephen Cook, that I've been watching for a while. Right? So look forward to that. Okay. Um, but moving forward, um, you know, I had to kind of do that one. Man, uh, Kanye, he's still Kanye in, or how are we going to do it? But he's still Yeezy, right? And he's still Yeezy where Adidas is in limbo. Like at first, they were like, yo, he's done. Now they're kind of like, well, we had a yay day, and that was one of our biggest days. You know what I'm saying? Um, which is crazy, right? Y'all see that? That's pretty dope. So, you really don't know, man. 340 million euro, like, this is pretty insane. Right, and then the CEO came out and was like, "Yeah, we're, we're, it's a wrap." Jeez, like look at that. That's crazy, right? So this kind of thing is still going. Um, I wonder what it's going to be next. I'm pretty sure it's going to be interesting. And you can never, like, the thing about the media nowadays, man, you really don't know who's telling the truth or what because everybody's getting their information from different things. People are always doing each other favors. You really don't know what's going on. Um, but what we do know is Ye has impact. That is crazy. And the impact is consistent and, you know, 
it's gonna be like that for some time, right? Um, there's a lot going on. I can't find. There's a lot of things that I want to kind of get to. I see how the body is still laying people off, and they're going more so into just probably AI and e-commerce. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Because they have they 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 get consistently letting people know. I don't think people are watching the blogs anymore, I'll be honest with you guys. And I think they're kind of like understanding that where it's like nobody cares about the blog. <laughs> I still probably Here. The Berlin Street Web Platform has somebody to cut 24 jobs, making up about 10% of the entire workspace, workforce, and impacting the area of editorial and commerce, as well as data and marketing. In addition, the in house creative agency HS Plus is also to be affected by the downsizing. They're going to keep downsizing. That's my guess. My guess is they're going to keep downsizing. Um, we're in an interesting time right now. You know what I'm saying? We're there. Everyone is pivoting. Businesses are pivoting. They're utilizing AI more and more. Um, and it's having an impact on what your job is. Because if we don't really need you, and we can concise your job and someone else's job into one job, or three jobs into one job, they're going to do so. You got papers? I'm not paying for this. No. Get out of here. So, acting acquired by Zalando. What is Zalando? You seeing that? This Twitter accent is killing me. After being acquired by Zalando. Hasmari has laid off 24 staff members just over a year after being acquired by online retailer Zalando and the deal that reported value has somebody between 180 million to 250 million. Okay. What the fuck is Zalando? Huge conglomerate. Okay, so Londo is a publicly traded German online retailer of shoes, fashion, and beauty active across Europe. The company was founded in 2008 by David Schneider and Robert Jentz and more than 51 million active users in 25 European markets. Oh, so they're nothing to sniff at. Interesting. Robert Jentz and David Schneider. Who is that? I always kind of do like just a quick glance at these people from like the you know, these people in Zalando starting 2008. I was just such a monstrous company already. Stock trading history. It's a Londo SE. He received a benefit at Bush Ham School of Management. Fairly young. Freaking awesome. Okay. Who uses a Ronda? I don't even know anyone that used the Ronda. That's how crazy this thing is. You never know, you know, the possibilities of a business, especially when it like sales. That's I think that's so dope when you can build a business. And you have no idea that and you have no intention of selling it. Right?
so awesome, man. So they're popping pretty much. I gotta talk to some people in. I'm gonna talk to some people in. Okay, so we're gonna go pretty much everywhere. Not in the US. Zalando. Interesting. I wonder how many brands they have under them. Let's see here. Pretty dope. Definitely do a check it out later, but yeah. Oh, inspired by Zappos. Uh, that's cool. Well, pretty dope. Can't lie. Um, but where does that what does that mean? Right? And I wonder do they care about things like fashion inclusion? I saw something with Samuel Ross doing something with fashion inclusion. I said, oh, that's pretty cool. But what does that really mean? Right? Because I guess, you know, being able to help those that are not really, um, to have the contacts and you know the information that certain people hold and it's really tough when you do that like you know can we get on the same playing field right action and inclusion but not um I think the conversation is really dope. Um, I'm always I'm a huge fan of of, of Samuel Ross and stuff like that. Like I'm a huge fan of this. You know. Am I gonna have to get this business a business of fashion page? <laughs> British fashion designer Sammy Ross opens up to BOF editor in chief Imran Ahmed. Ahmed led his work to foster more diversity in fashion, which is always a the conversation that we always need to have just so that we can see a bit more of a level playing field, if you will. That's the right language on these. But yeah, it's it's definitely a conversation that always needs to be had. I'm happy that he's always pushing it forward. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that, man. about him, he has so, so much to offer as far as just streetwear and, 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 and furniture. And, man, really cool concepts. You can tell that he really takes a lot of time and puts a lot of energy into his work. With something that's really phenomenal, especially in this day and age where it's kind of like you have so many things that's coming at you for you to just kind of drive yourself like that. Huge fan, huge fan, huge fan. Um, but yeah, that's definitely something. We'll have a definitely, I want to have a conversation with someone about that fashion and inclusion, man, especially being here in New York, uh, being a model, you know, um, teetering with designing and, and, and doing some of that stuff. But to see so many other creatives go through it, You've been a lot of independent designers. Most of us are putting up our own money. You know, we're not even having the knowledge to understand um, that you can actually get financed um, appropriately and you can work within a budget. There's a lot of miscues and a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of, it's expensive. Like creating clothing is expensive, right? Um, running a business is expensive. 
you marry the two, you know that, you know, it's not easy. Um, I've done it before. I'm going to get back to it just because I love it so much. Right. Um, but it's a lot. It's a lot. So definitely uh, those inclusion conversations where, you know, each one teach one, we can help each other out, um, are always going to be positive and, and, and awesome because we need more of that for sure. Definitely need more of that. Right. Um, you know, uh, there was something that was really popping. I didn't go to it, but I saw it from afar. Um, was was um, the wake I party. Boy, they had the thing lit. Blossom said, oh, you know, and he's been like slowly just like really having motion. Not slowly, but really good motion. You know, I love how New Yorkers they really like really come together and support their own. Chicago, and I think that's just a, a thing that people are doing more of, which is very fly. Chicago, we're a little late to it, but you know, we're still, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't go to this. I saw it, but I was just not, I don't know why I didn't go to this. But the curation is super cool. What is that going on as far as the way? Collaborations are there. You know, I've always loved the typography. So, like, that higher power is hard. Right. New York streetwear clothing brand. I saw this thing and I said, oh, it was busting, busting. We have the block burrito. Then I was upset because I'm not even looking at him. Like, oh, no, I don't know why they make that. Hey. I think I was really trying to get some work done and trying to do more of this. But I was kind of like, no, I need to focus on this. But this is a part of that. I don't know why this, you know. I appreciate that baby. I think that sucks right now. But you guys get the point. Um, the block party was definitely lit. Shout out to um, Awake and the whole team. They've been definitely having motion, whole lot of motion. It's very fly. Um, you know, um, one of the things that I definitely wanted to get to was uh, now that the dust has kind of settled, Pharrell's show and really taking a deep dive and looking at it. So I actually, you know, took some notes because at first, I didn't really, I, I, I was like, I was like, it was cool, you know, it was cool, but it wasn't really like, you know, so I want to, I kind of wanted to wait till the dust settled. Wait till the settle so you guys can really be like, oh, so we really like, okay, let's let's let the hype kind of die down a little bit. Let's really, you know, take a look at exactly what he did, what he did. Yeah. Right. Goodness gracious, I definitely know that that bag that he had at the way that shows a million dollars. Uh, 
Y'all don't understand. I've been watching these guys since I was, you know, for a minute, man. And to see these guys doing it, man. You know, how could you not? How can you not? How can you not, right? So let's let me take a deep dive and really look at this spring summer 24 show. Because now that the dust has settled, now that I'm not trying to listen to push your tea and that whole thing. <laughs> let's take a deep dive, right? Um, and let's really look at this thing, official tissue. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that's important, right? Up top, Michael Hojo. Those beats are hard as fuck. Excuse my age. Off top. Right? The style is put together. Everything is. Everything is good. The boots, yeah, I'm 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 like that, but. Everything is free to sign up. What happened to like just let me see? I know yet. My internet is so we're gonna do a deep dive on this on the Louis Vuitton show, but I think after the death settled, I do like a few pieces. I like way more than what I thought, which is super cool. Um, we're going to leave it there. Again, man, thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe, man. You guys got to subscribe. Leave some comments below, definitely. You know, I'm going to do this way more than once, and we'll take it from there. But all right, guys. I'm out.